Patients of a former Johns Hopkins gynecologist who secretly photographed women during pelvic exams will receive a record payout from the hospital, $190 million. 11 News' Kate Amara is live at Johns Hopkins with the update tonight. Kate. Donna, the agreement announced today is being called one of, if not the largest settlement of its kind in the country, a class action case regarding sexual misconduct by a doctor. $190 million. Cash. It's a huge settlement, $190 million. And at this point, the parties involved have given the proposal a green light to go forward. The judge, Johns Hopkins Hospital, and the plaintiffs, more than 8,000 former patients of Hopkins gynecologist Dr. Nikita Levy, who for years secretly filmed his patients during exams. These women were and are extraordinarily upset in fear, dismayed, angry, and anxious. So traumatized, according to the lead plaintiff's attorney, many have stopped seeing any kind of doctor. Jonathan Shakur says the next step in this class action case is to determine the level of trauma and then how much money each plaintiff will receive. An attorney for Hopkins called the settlement proposal fair. And properly balances the concerns of Dr. Levy's former patients with the obligations of the health system to provide ongoing superior care to the community. The allegations came to light in February 2013. With a pen-shaped camera that he wore around his neck, investigators say, Dr. Levy took some 1,200 videos and 140 photographs of his patients. He was never charged. He killed himself last year while under investigation. And authorities say they have found no evidence that he shared the images with others. Represents the beginning of a long healing process in our community. We will have closure. And we can now all begin to put this catastrophic chapter behind us. Today, the plaintiff's attorney said they discovered children were among Dr. Levy's victims and that 62 of them are still minors. The settlement still needs final approval from a judge, and Hopkins says all the money to pay for it will come from insurance. Reporting live from Hopkins tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.